Hey Pisces, it's Goddess Puff and this is your reading. All right, let's jump into it with an Oracle card message for Pisces. What is going on with Pisces at this very moment in time? What does Pisces need to know? Otter, dexterity, magpie addiction. I want to say the odd man out or oddball with that card, otter, crab, retreat, cancer energy, mouse advantage. You pull out of a situation just in time. This is like gambling, literally, but you realize that someone's addicted. You've been, okay, this is just an example. Say for instance, you encounter someone who tells you they have a plan or they've mastered the system or they've been gambling for years and they figured out the plan and they're trying to rope you into something. They're trying to show you their winnings and, and you get convinced and you start gambling with them and you start losing a lot of money and they're like, just trust me, just trust me. After a couple more rounds, we're about to hit big. You realize, oh no, this person is an addict. They're not really, they don't have no real plan. They're not a mastermind. They didn't figure shit out. This person's addicted and they just needed someone else to invest because they've gone out, of, they've run out of money. And you retreat, you pull back just in time before you lose too much or before you lose anything at all. I feel like you're not going to invest anything in this that you aren't prepared to lose anyway. So that's your added advantage here. That's just an example, but let's jump into it, Pisces. Also, you could simply be pulling away from an addiction or codependency of some kind, whether it's a person, place, thing, habit, or pattern. I feel like you expertly maneuver around it with dexterity, retreat, and advantage. You, you avoid a situation, a disaster, a person... Two of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Five of Wands. Overall energy is the traitor. Yeah. So Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Swords, the truth and a new stable beginning and abundance. Someone wants like, maybe someone knows you have a new job, new position or a pay raise. They see you working a lot, juggling a lot, handling a lot all on your own. And you're making it look good. You're balancing things out. All of your responsibilities and bills and things are being balanced out. And that's the truth. You have a new stable beginning of, in abundance. Your money's going up. Things are doing well for you financially. But then here comes this person trying to have, start conflict and competition with you. They're addicted to drama. This person's a traitor. Overall energy. So this is someone close to you. Someone you thought you could trust. An ally. Five of Swords trying to win at all costs. Yeah, to get ahead. This is I literally just seen someone stepping on your head to get ahead. So let's say you're climbing a mountain. This person will climb over you and step on your head to get a leg up on you. You and then right behind that's the Eight of Cups. You're walking away. Clarify this for Pisces. Dang, this card wanted to come out. Three of Wands. Clarifying the two of pentacles is the hangman. There you are. Eight of swords. Yeah, so I feel like there was one point, or maybe this is you now, but I feel like at one point you were like, you were stuck overthinking. And you were like, I have all these bills, all these responsibilities, all these things I got to handle. And it was stressing you out at first. But I feel like that's balancing out, or you balanced it out. Eight of swords, clarify about seven of pentacles. Yeah, long-term investment. You're like, if I want things to be stable, I feel like things are stable now. So things are stabilizing. You just push through it pretty much. Yeah, six of wands. I feel like you get praised for speaking your truth, for sticking and being stable in something. Even though it was a lot, you took it on and you handled it well. I feel like also someone was trying to keep you stuck or hanging on to you, trying to cause you to overthink. Someone was giving you a lot to think about or a lot of responsibilities on purpose to keep you stuck somewhere so that you wouldn't progress, to keep you overthinking. But you spoke your truth or you saw the truth. Or you, yeah, something like that. Someone wanted you to question your position, but it's very stable. 
Also, if this is a relationship you've been in for a very long time, somehow, some way, speaking your truth is uh, giving you praise, victory, success here by standing in your truth or speaking it. Clarifying the Ace of Pentacles is the Eight of Wands. Yeah, a lot of people want to like work with you. The magician, Gemini, and Virgo. Also, this person's going to hear about a new job that you get a, a pay raise or a promotion, and they're going to start messaging you, trying to manipulate you out of that position or out of your money, pretty much. Clarifying the five of wands is the queen of cups, a water sign, cancer, strongly with crab retreat, tower, Aries. Yeah, because you're not going to give in and they're going to try to have conflict with you. I feel like this is a coworker. So someone wanted the position that you're getting pretty much and they're mad. They seem like they were your friend and they supported you at first. But then when they, when you got the position over them, their true colors showed. This is like you and someone works in the same field, but because you're progressing over them or you got something that they wanted. Yeah. Over under the two of cups. This is someone you saw as a soulmate, but as soon as they saw you winning, or they try to manipulate you out of a position. So say, for instance, you're a tarot reader and you have a friend that's a tarot reader. You, you speak your truth. You speak authentically, Ace of Swords, and that'll allow your business to be the Seven of Pentacles to have longevity. And that gives you a lot of attention and praise. Whereas this person, they don't do that. <laughs> Maybe they're fake. And that's why you get the success, praise, and acknowledgement in the customers, and they don't. They're upset. Yeah, so with the five wands and the tower, it's like they, they pull out of the situation. I feel like, um, yeah, someone's trying to argue with you. You don't feed into it. They blow up and make a fool of themselves. And this is a friend of yours, unfortunately. Someone close to you, someone you trusted. Let me get you your final message. I feel like it's a Cancer, Aries, or someone who has strong placement in those signs. It could be any sign, of course. We have Gemini and Virgo here as well. Bees, togetherness, work, treasure. So, yes, yeah, someone you work with or you're supposed to be working together with. Braid, identity, survival, the opinion of others. You stopped caring about the opinions of others and started speaking your truth and standing in your truth. And it actually worked out for you. And this person's upset or what? I don't know. Toad, humor, the grotesque joy. I feel like you're finding it funny. It's like they supported you until you started winning or doing better than them. Overall, energy is dull, illusion, old wounds, childhood. I feel like this person could just simply be childish. They throw in this hissy fit, this tantrum. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.